Well, Operation Stop has evolved as a, as a classic and uh, resilient model for the organization. And what it does is it harmonizes uh, you know, training in a border security environment with regard to first line defense at border control points. What we've done is we've taken that now into a second evolution where we've bolted in on the back of that training a strong operational element. And also we've uh, innovated it so that we now go through a train the trainer program so that in the past the organization may have been able to support four or five of these events a year. Now through the train the trainer program we've got a cadre of experts that can support these independently to an accredited international standard, an Interpol standard. The problem with, that we've experienced with regard to human smuggling, human trafficking is that they're an endemic problem. They're never going to go away because of the, the, uh, the, the nature of global movements of migratory patterns, economic crises, war, strife and the rest of it. But what we're trying to do is to support national administrations in the regulation of those movements. So we try and assist in mit mitigation strategies and prevention strategies of criminals being able to exploit um, gateways for the movement of people or commodities across the globe and to remove the profiteering that can come from that. And more importantly, the victimization of those individuals that are trafficked or, or channeled through those control points. And also to empower the law enforcement officials then to support the national administrations at a global level <clears throat> in trying to make it more understandable with regard to what the threat is, them to be more realistic in utilising intelligence systems that are there and available for them to detect the threat, and to bring about more managed migration that is sustainable for the future. And as we saw just this last week, we've moved where we're able to run five simultaneous operations which has never been done before in a border security context. In the past, we could only ever go into one national jurisdiction and run an independent operation in that country. Now we've really got regional reach. And the aspiration is to extend that further so that we can actually now start targeting regions of risk from intelligence collection around borders that are being exploited. And we can put the teams in in a real global context. And hopefully the ambition is that we can then show a global capability in multiple regions of the world.